Hello and welcome back. Um, today I just had to get stuck into something creative. I thought I'd go do Lanny. <clears throat> uh, but today I thought I'd have a go at making some stencils out of a cereal box. Um, the very useful cereal box I've been um, utilising lately because we get through a lot of them as a family of four. Uh, so I sketched this hollyhock from one of my previous art demo paintings and it was really easy literally just throw in a line put a few blobs here and there narrowing tapering off to the top and just cut them out so that's what I've ended up here so nothing too precious about it <clears throat> What I'm thinking is, given the material that it, it is, um, cardboard, one side is more porous than the other, so it might be a good idea to use this side, which is slightly shinier, because with use, as this gets wet, it will buckle, which will stop it from resting flat against your page when spraying. So, although this is a cheap DIY way of doing things, it won't necessarily last, uh, so whereas the ones that you, expensive ones you buy online, they will, uh, for example, uh, I bought some of these from iStencils um, from America, but I got a custom uh, tax slapped on top of that, which made them more expensive. They are, they're lovely, they're, um, they're made of some sort of acrylic or plastic so they're very durable um, you'll see loads of demos of these on YouTube but yeah, you can see it's quite robust and it's not going to buckle because it's not absorbent or anything uh, but anyway if you, if you don't fancy spending a fortune then make your own so once you've cut it out um, when you start using paint on it, the paint will add layers of thickness and make it a bit more robust, but it may make it buckle. So, back to my sketchbook, which is getting quite thick now that I've started doing mixed media. Luckily it's spiral bound, so it's not too much of a problem, but I've got a pre-primed uh, sheet here, which is stuck to the back. Um, I need to protect that actually with a cereal box. So this has been gessoed and it's had some sand texture paste put on it. And what I'm going to do is add some colour. I think. Right, these are great. These are Liquitex paint markers. So they're acrylic paints. Um, pretty good. The colours are just great and they're very opaque. So give it a good shake. Okay, so now I've applied some colour onto my textured ground and I'm going to have a go at the stencils, so which one? This one. Or this one. I think I'll have a go at this one actually. So, ideally a spray, but don't have a spray black spray is what I'm after. Um, 
So I could use a dabber. Right, just because this is funny, I'm going to uh, stop playing music uh, while I speed this up, and this time I'll let you hear what it's like speeded up with the sound. Sounds like some sort of insect, doesn't it? Okay, that's better. That's more like it. Right, apologies for the sound of animals in the background. My animals seem to think that feeding time is two o'clock in the afternoon for dinner, but I refuse to give in, so. Right, now I was thinking of pushing this into the background a bit and adding another layer. It's not gonna make it disappear, but it's just gonna be like a, a light wash. Um, that's what I'm hoping. Right, so hopefully, should do the job. Don't worry, I haven't obliterated it completely. Got the baby wipe and. So back in again with the black. Um, let that one dry first. And I'm thinking of that might be quite good coming out from the side there. Right, quite like the effect of depth. Um, the ones that are sort of washed out are in the background, push them into the background, and the ones that are darker come forward, so that's quite a nice layered effect. Make love and listen to the music. Okay, I've got watercolour black in my pipette bottle here, so I might just do a bit of writing. Right, there's an awful lot of black in there, so I will have to find a way of toning that down a bit, so... I'll have a little think, let it dry, and come back with something. I had a thought of either putting these little punched cut-out flowers, they're very delicate, in the centre of each of these, which is quite cute, actually. Or either in pink all different colours, I don't know, but anyway, this this is the uh, stamp, so you can see that, the uh, punch, hole punch. Um, really easy to use, give it a punch and out comes the star. I think I got mine from Hobbycraft or um, one of those sort of outlets. Oh, I got these. These are nail art products. Little tiny beads. I uh, thought they were really pretty. And I was thinking maybe grouping some of them in the centre. Maybe the turquoise ones might look quite nice. So, isn't that the cutest little bottle ever? Okay, so that needs to dry, 
And then I did wonder if I could incorporate some of these gift tags I've made before. Um, this is a design I printed on, on the printer and then cut out with a tag stamp, a uh, tag hole punch thing. I forget what you call them. And this one I've just added an embellishment, a little gemstone and some ribbon. So I thought maybe I could dig around. These, this was just cut from cards, for birthday cards and Christmas cards, stuff like that. Um, I thought I'd recycle. This I love, and that picks out the sort of turquoise colour going on. How to place it though, I just don't know. Maybe just along the bottom or something. Um, along the side, that's nice actually, like that, yeah, do like that, so that's, that's definitely an option. Yeah, well, what's the point to this, you might well ask. Uh, it's just allowing yourself to be creative and see what happens. Um, and you might pick out elements of something like this and use it in, in a canvas. I'm going to let this dry and come back to it tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. I'm going to finish this off now because I've got loads to get on with today. So, <clears throat> I've... I've gone back to the idea of using these tags and one of the green ones um, and I thought of maybe ripping up some images, I've been and got some images, this is a postcard of mine, I've, um, I'm selling these on Etsy, uh, it's of a painting I did a while back and uh, I've got another postcard, this is one I've bought, I was thinking of just ripping up little sections and sticking them onto the tag and then sticking the tags down. What else have I got? I've got some photographs that have seen better days uh, that I've taken to use for landscapes and still life. So I'm going to rip these up and see if I can't use them somewhere in this. Okay, I'm happy with that arrangement. There's images in there that, to me, uh, make me think of summer flowers and landscapes covered in green. So I'm going to stick these down and then I think I'm done. Okay, that's this project done. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll take a few photos of it when it's dry and put it on the end of this film. So, um, yeah, that was that was good fun. Have a go yourself. See if you can't um, just free yourself up, put things together you wouldn't normally put together. It's not like it's on display. It's in your own personal art journal, scrapbook, sketchbook, whatever you like to use. Um, so yes, take care and see you again next time.